I'm, I'm going to talk about two groups of people. I'm going to talk about the people at the bottom of this pyramid and the people at the top, but not so much those at the top. There's a level even above the top of that pyramid, which I'll briefly talk about. But I want to talk about the people at the bottom of this pyramid, those who really aren't in the know, those who really are suppressed by this manipulation that's at work. And the group that I perceive as being the most suppressed, the most damaged by this level of manipulation that is taking place. You wouldn't think it's just your average citizen, your, your average person, but it really isn't. There is a group that is even more manipulated, that is even more held in deep levels of unconsciousness and fear and in, in being cut off from their true divine nature, being cut off from the, the ever-present and ever-flowing dynamic energy of consciousness and love. And these are the people at, who I would consider at the very, very bottom of this pyramid with the most weight pressing upon them. And it is the controllers of the world, the military and the police. These are the people who are the most victimized by this hierarchical structure of manipulation. Sadly, they're often the people who understand how this dynamic is work in the world more than anybody else. They don't understand it more so than anyone else because their consciousness is in that shutdown of a mode. And because they're so ruled by the reptilian complex of the brain that they're in that fear vibration, they're in that confusion vibration, and they're just being given orders, they're just following orders to go out and control things in the external world because they've bought the big lie and they've bought the lie that says that control is the answer, that you can create order from control. And we've already looked at that in part one. It's like trying to dry wet clothes by pouring more water on them or trying to put out a fire by pouring more gasoline on it. You will never create the opposite polarity by adding the same polarity to the situation. So you can never create order by adding fear, confusion, and control to the mix. You can only create order by adding the love dynamic, love, dominion, or non-duality, and freedom is how order is created. I can't emphasize that enough. These are the people that are actually the most damaged by this system and the most manipulated. They actually have the brunt of the weight of the system upon them more than anyone else. And as such, they need the greatest amount of help and the greatest amount of emotional support and understanding in getting to a higher level of consciousness, which will be exceedingly difficult for these individuals, particularly if they do not want, wish to come out of their worldview, their negative worldview that is based on separation and control, and, and they have great attachment to being right, to, to that the world is the way they currently think that it is, even though it bears very little resemblance to reality in any way. It's quite unfortunate. So they actually need our help more than anybody else. Now, back to the top of the pyramid, those who are really in the know, really calling the shots. Is there something even higher than that? And I'm really here today to tell you that, yes, there is, and I'm kind of uninterested in what really controls the game from even higher than the top level of the pyramid, because in either event, it's the same way that they accomplish it, and it will be undone in the same way, through a rising of awareness and consciousness. I'm here to tell you that the highest level of this pyramid is not the summit. There's always a hidden chamber built into any great pyramid. And the hidden chamber is where the game is, the shots of the game are really called from. Okay? And there is now, it is now known that there is one sorcerer that sits in the middle chamber, in the hidden chamber of this pyramid of manipulation, and it, this one sorcerer alone calls the entire shots of the entire game. They're holding all the keys to all the locks on all the doors. And there's a device now that you can look into and you can discover 
who that one, one hidden manipulator, hidden sorcerer, hidden prison warden, if you will, is. And there's only one. And the device that has been built that enables one to look into it and find out who that hidden controller really is, is right here. It's a common, everyday mirror. Because that is who controls the entire game. The individual, the person that stares back from that looking glass, is who has all the keys to all the locks on all the doors. And it's all about what is going on within. That's what's really controlling the game. Every individual is the, their own prison warder. See, we ultimately create our own manipulation, our own enslavement, our own domination. So it is up to us to individually raise our consciousness, our understanding of what is taking place, to break out of that prison, break out of that shell of shut down consciousness, to understand what's really going on here. And of course, if we look at the levels of consciousness as they are, as they manifest in the physical world, we understand that there's one way that manipulators, people who are attempting to manipulate consciousness so that they come out on top and other people suffer as a result, they have to attack really one aspect of the individual. And it's ultimately all about mind control. Because if we look at this st structure, spirit, mind, and body, this level is the physical world level. Above that, linked with it, is the mind. And above that is spirit, is all-encompassing pure being, pure consciousness. If you're going to have a true connection in your physical manifestation to the spirit, that, that connection is this layer, the mind layer. Okay? So if the mind is in good health, if the mind is in balance, if the mind is not under manipulation and control, there will be a powerful connection between body and spirit. If it is not in good state, if it is in disarray, if you do not understand the nature of the mind and the nature of your own psyche and psychological makeup, then it is very easy to sever this connection between body and spirit once the mind is under control, external control, externally controlled. So you look at it this way. The body could be seen as the male principle, the blade, or the yang energy. Conversely, the spirit is the opposite aspect, the opposite essence. It is that which is not physical. It's the yin or the feminine aspect. It, see, the body rises up to meet the spirit and the spirit descends to meet the body. So th they meet at this realm. This is where body and spirit meet and they mingle in, in the realm of mind. So the, 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 the blade and the chalice combined could be seen to represent mind. And it's a symbol that we've all seen. It's the star of David or the seal of Solomon, as it has been called. It's the seal of body and spirit coming together at the layer of mind. And it is the solar energy combined with the lunar energy to create Soul and Moon, Sun and Moon, the seal of Solomon. So keep in mind, that is the whole dynamic that sorcerers are after. They want to control this level. So they, this level would be very difficult to control physically. You would need a lot of physical force to get it done. You control this level, people will police themselves. They will... They will mind control themselves essentially by through public opinion and through indoctrination down to generation upon generation. The, the, the control that they're after is in this level 
And if they control the mind, they de-link the, the body from the spirit. And that's the whole game that they're after. That's the whole thing that they want to perpetrate. Mind control.